Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Well, hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are reviewing series 14 of the Dirty to Clean double packs by Spin Master Monster Jam for 2021. Previously, we reviewed series 13. So if you guys want to watch that video, go check it out. It's already been uploaded a couple months, I'm sure, ago. And now we're on to series 14 and we have some pretty awesome trucks in this mix. So the first one that you're seeing on screen of the four is the Soldier Fortune Black Ops versus the Encore World Finals 19 Black Max D. However, we will not be starting with this pack. I'm going to show you guys the actual other pack that I think is a little less exciting, but I still think is pretty awesome, which is this pack here, the Monster Mutt Rottweiler versus Dalmatian. As I usually do, I will unbox these and then show you guys the demo. Here is the packaging, of course, as we've seen many times now. So I'm going to unbox this real quick and we'll check it out right now. So here they are, the Monster Mutt Dalmatian versus Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Now I'm not quite sure if we're going to see Monster Mutt in this series this year. However, we are seeing these two rough crowd trucks first off. Now, also, I mentioned back when the poster was revealed, as well as when I reviewed Monster Mutt Rottweiler with the new ears here, you can see these new casted ears, that Monster Mutt Dalmatian will not be receiving the ears down variation for this year. However, hopefully next year in 2022, we will see that update take place. Monster Mutt did receive the update, but Dalmatian unfortunately did not. So it does have the in motion ears still, but Rottweiler does have its new down retextured and recasted ears. So there's the truck and here is the water of course the demo takes place with ice cold water you have to have ice in it to make it super cold for the mud to look uh, the way it should which these do not so let me darken these up a bit so there we go that's the true uh, mud color it should be it should cover the entire truck so here's the truck in muddy form uh, sorry for all the water but you can see it does cover up a significant portion of the body and let's darken up Dalmatian a bit it's a little warm in my room, so these did tend to uh, change color a little bit. So here's Dalmatian. You can see the mouth is covered up there, the tailgate pretty well, and a little bit on the roof, but not too much. So there is the muddy versions. Also, they have those kind of uh, marbleized dark brown and light brown paint um, chassis, black roll cage, and these have orange rims for the Rottweiler and red rims for the Dalmatian. Uh, with those standard tires. So let's change uh, Rottweiler to be completely clean in the hot water or warm water, I should say. Uh, so there is Rottweiler with the clean version of the truck. Just looks like a normal Rottweiler. And let's clean up Dalmatian. This one should be pretty noticeable since it's a white paint truck. And yes, it is. So there is the clean Dalmatian. So here they are, Racing Stripes and the Son of a Digger. Now, I'm not quite sure what the reasoning was to put the Zebra with Son of a Digger. There's two reasons I can think of. One is that uh, Ryan Anderson uh, consistently goes to the zoo with his son, Race, and uh, that could be the reason why they match these trucks up, which if that's the case, it's pretty hilarious. Or it could be because Race is his son's name and Racing Stripes also alludes to Ryan's successful victories uh, at World Finals. That could be another reason, but uh, they did pair Racing Stripes with Son of a Digger for one or two or both maybe of those reasons. So here's Racing Stripes. Let's darken it just a little bit more. It's a little bright there. Uh, so oh, maybe it didn't change that much, but uh, you can see the mud on Racing Stripes. Let's uh, check out actually Son of a Digger now. So you can see it has the super muddy side panels. For some reason, the roof is completely clean. I'm not sure uh, why that is, but there is the Son of a Digger. You can actually see where they put like a protective layer to uh, not paint on the roof, but uh, there's Son of a Digger, super accurate looking mud uh, style there. And the rims are white and blue. So let's change this to be the clean Son of a Digger. And there we go. So they did go pretty heavy with the paint here. So it's hard to get the mud completely invisible. However, there is Son of a Digger in the normal format with the clean body. And now let's clean up the racing stripes. And that should bring us back to a normal racing stripes. Yeah, pretty well done with this one. Uh, so there's racing stripes. And this one did come out uh, last year in 2020's uh, Mix 13, I believe. And now we have the Soldier Fortune Black Ops versus the Max D Black Encore truck. This one we did receive in 2020's Mix 9, a very infamous mix, obviously, because uh, that was found and still can be found at many stores. 
Uh, so there is Max D from that set. It did have the rear engine at the time because this was far before the retro Max D five pack when they debuted that new Mens chassis, which this one did receive the update for. So it now is on the front engine, which it looks amazing. It does have a brown chassis, but that awesome front engine roll cage there uh, makes the truck look awesome. It also has, I'm not quite sure why they did this on the 124 scale, 164 scale, the updated championship number to 12 time champion. Uh, but there it is. And Soldier Fortune Black Ops is the same as usual. These ones are pretty bright, so let me darken them up real quick for you. Um, so there, it's a little easier to see. This one didn't get much mud on it, um, but there is the Soldier Fortune Black Ops. And uh, let's do the Max D. Try to darken it a bit. Uh, so mine didn't really receive that much coverage with the mud uh, for these trucks, which is unfortunate because uh, the renderings look pretty awesome, but uh, I'm sure when they reach the public, they'll have heavier mud spots. So uh, I guess let's just clean up Max D. Not much of a change because of the reason that I didn't have much mud on them, but there's Max D and let's do Soldier Fortune, Black Ops, I should say. And there is that change. So again, not much of a drastic change with them, but I do enjoy the fact that they paired up the trucks with the similar paint schemes together. Really cool uh, Black Ops set here. And I really do like that update to the front engine of Max D. And the final set we have is a really cool one. It is the two Grave Diggers head to head. Now I'm not sure why, but they did do this on the card here. Uh, the card art or the card logo, I should say, says Grave Digger the Legend, which this truck is most certainly not Grave Digger the Legend. Uh, this is actually right here, Grave Digger the Legend. But um, yeah, they did call it Grave Digger the Legend on the card. However, many true Moss Gym fans know that this is Grave Digger number one before it became the spooky paint shop. So that's really cool. These both were mud trucks at their time, uh, mud slingers. So this makes total sense to have them in this series. They're pretty caked on here with the mud, but I'm gonna try to darken it up just a tad more, especially in the primer truck. Yeah, that looks, that looks really awesome. This is like a super accurate look for this truck. So I'm happy with how this one turned out. Let's try to darken this one up a bit. Uh, not as much for the mud coverage on this one, but this one truly looks like how the truck used to look in the mud uh, slinging days when they drove this. So super awesome. There's also an update on this that I'll show you in just a moment, but let's clean these up first. Uh, so here goes the red primer truck into the warm water. And there we go. So it's all cleaned up now. Pretty cool how well this one cleaned up. And it does still say we ain't bad, but the bad don't mess with us in the tailgate. And yeah, just an awesome uh, true mud truck here. I love the vintage chassis and the red rim choice that they gave it. Usually you'll see this truck with uh, yellow rims, but they did match the paint color to the rims this time. So this one's awesome. I think it's my favorite of this set. And let's change up the Grave Digger number one uh, blue grain to be cleaned up. And there we go. So there is the blue grain Grave Digger with that vintage chassis. Last time we saw this truck in Reveal the Steel, they did not give it a vintage chassis. So it's nice to see them doing a vintage chassis for this edition of the truck. And thank you to Jordan at Spin Master for taking the feedback on the truck here. I had a lot of Grave Digger fans complaining about this since the first time we saw it, which was the Grave Digger 5 pack. The C in Curatuck is now capitalized unlike the previous versions, which have had it in a lowercase c. So thank you to Jordan for that tiny little update, but I'm sure a lot of Grave Digger fans are gonna be super happy that he finally did change it to an uppercase c. So again, this guy really listens to us. I really do appreciate all of his help and taking the feedback into consideration and definitely always taking the time to make things accurate. So that does make a big difference to many people uh, who collect Grave Digger items. So that C there, it looks really nice. So let's change it back to mud form and we'll sign out of this video. Uh, here goes the grain Grave Digger. Grave Digger number one, right there. That looks so awesome. And then the red primer. Definitely my favorite of the set is the red primer. It makes so much sense. It looks exactly like the real truck looks like in photos that you'll see Dennis Anderson post oftentimes. Uh, so there is the Dirty to Clean models for series 14. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I wanna thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. This is Ryan Ramos, Jim OCD, signing out.